If you guys are interested in buying Mutt Coins, go to my sponsor, EasyMuttCoins.com. Use code DOG for a 5% discount on checkout. What's good, YouTube? How y'all doing, man? Welcome to a brand new video, man. Today, we are getting to the free agency week two. It's a lot of coins to be made. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over the promo, and we're going to go over how you guys can make coins, how you can get some of these free players. Hit the like button right now. Hit the like button. I'll drop today a huge training pack opening on free agency week two if you guys are not savvy with house rules you guys could go ahead and knock out these solo challenges and these solo challenges are going to give you guys a free nat 96 overall now you can get a hundred and twenty stars right now i don't know if you can get let's see if you can get it's 20 challenges uh five stars each so that's 100 100 so you can get the nat 87 overall free player too so you basically can get a 96 and you could get an 87 easily right easily just from doing the solos i don't know how long it's gonna take you i don't know if these are full games let's see if these are full games or challenges easy they just challenge it. a bunch of challenges right so you guys can knock this out get these free cards and what you want to do is you can either add the 96 to your team or you could take that 87 do your house rules go get those free players because house rules is giving you free players too and i think you only got like two to three more days maybe left on this but if you do these house rules you'll have enough players to complete another 96 and if you complete two 96s, you have two 96s for completely free. That means you'll be able to spend like 160K and buy the 96 on the auction block, put it into the set, get Byron Jones, Jadavian Clowney, Tom Brady, any of those players. You can get any of those players, sell them, take the profit, and then you'll be up about 150 to 200K. And then once you're up at about that 150, 200K, you'll quick sell those other two cars for training and boom. Now you're up 150k plus training, which you can use that training to reroll. I so many reroll methods on this channel, man. If you guys want to see the reroll methods, just go ahead and watch some of the videos, some of the prior videos before this one, and you'll see so many reroll players. Now, the new players, they have dropped some new players, and some of these players are gonna be fire when this promo is over with. So the reason why I say when this promo is over with is because some of these players are going into power-ups. Once they take away the reroll sets, some of these prices are gonna go up. They don't drop power-ups for all of these cards. I'm just saying, some of them will go up. So a card that's gonna go up is probably gonna be Chris Harris. I don't know if Philip Rivers will go up. He may or may not, but Nadamik and Sue is definitely gonna go up in price. And then we got Lamar Miller who may go up in price. So all these cards that got power-ups are gonna go up in price. Melvin Gordon is probably gonna go up in price. Quick coin making method, quick, very quick, very quick. Just so you guys could get this, you know, think about this in your head, right? Listen, you see that Melvin Gordon, Robbie Anderson are going for 195 at this point. now. This is one of those things that might be a little risky, but you can make it happen. But you see these cars are going for 195, right? So what you would need is you would need 390s and 487s. Let's go to the 86 to 87 free agency, right? Spin 14K. You could buy these cars for way cheaper than 14K if you just sat here and refreshed over and over and over again. I'm looking at the buy now, so I'm going to just say you could probably get them for like 13, maybe even cheaper. I mean... If you're doing this over and over again, you could get them for cheaper than what they really are. So let's just say you can get them for 13. You need four of them, 52K, right? And then you need 390 overalls, right? Now I've seen these cards easily, easily seen these cards for 35, 40, 38. But what I've seen consistently is 38. So you need 38 times three. That's 114K. So you got to add that to the 52. And now you got 166K, right? So it's about 166k, even though you could probably get these cards all for cheaper. All these cards you could probably find for cheaper, but right now that's how much they're going for. Now you could complete, you can go ahead and complete these sets for very cheap. Now, obviously, you can't complete the Chris Harris and all those, but you could complete the guys like Robbie Anderson, Brian Bulaga. All these cards are going for about 190. Melvin Gordon's going for about one. Well, he just sold at 192, but some of these cards you'll be able to sell for like 195. So let's do 195 and we subtract. 19k from that you're gonna get back 175 now that's not a lot of coins but each time you do this method you'll make 9k like so every time you do this method you'll make 9k and all you're doing is consistently going in buying these cars now another thing you can do which in my opinion may be a little smarter move see you see this for 13k we just talked about it so you can see them for 13 12 11 like you'll see them for cheaper prices over and over again you just have to be on the filter a little bit and buy them but since these cars are going for you see him going for like 192 all of these jerry mccoy going for 199 you can see he's going for like 200k you could also see that jerry mccoy is going for like 200k 
So you get these cards for 199 and you'll get back like 179 and you only put in about 145, 155 on the set. Now you could keep doing this consistently over and over again, make those coins. But another thing you could do is if you go theme builders two player, right? Let's look at the prices of these. So they're going for about 236. You could probably go ahead and find them for like 220. But basically what you would do is you will re-roll this, right? You will re-roll this and then you will go ahead and complete one of these 96 to 97 free agencies, right? These free agent players. Now, if you get it for 220, right? And you're selling, you're completing these players and then you're selling these players for 199, 195, however much, you're gonna get back probably about like 170, right? Which means if you're getting it for 220, you still got 40K to cover. But then you're gonna have extra cards that you could put on the auction block. Cause maybe you might pull 92 or 94, which can't which can go in a set, but you don't put it in the set, but he goes on an auction block for like 70k. So then you end up sp selling that card on the auction block for 70k, and then you already covered your 220, which was your initial investment. You took 220k from when you bought the uh the theme builder player, you quick sold him, you rewrote that trainer. You created one of these expensive players if they're still expensive at the time. Make sure you check the prices. Don't just go in here and try to complete the players and you don't know the prices. But check the prices. Sell the car. And then if you happen to pull something good like a 92 or a 94, you can either quick sell it for training again and have more training. Or what you could do is you could either keep those cards and sell them on the auction block and make profit. Because if you see, if we go to the auction block and we look at the 94s, 94s are going for about 80k look 86k so if you pull a, a, a 94 at 86k you go ahead and sell him you're going to get back like 74 or something around something in that in that in that price range you'll get around like 70 something and then you only needed to cover 40k to get back to 220 so now you just made 30k off of 194 you got i'm not saying you're only gonna pull 192 you might happen to pull 292s you might happen to pull 294s but the whole thing is you're you're taking these 97s you're finding them for the cheapest possible price you see them at 230 you might want to go a little bit lower i would probably try to stay in like the 220 range and below you take these cards you go back to the set you see what the prices are you say hmm my, my my biggest suggestion will probably be to take two cards. Don't just take one, but that's just my suggestion. Buy two cards. If you can buy two cards, buy two 97 theme builders instead of just buying one because the more training you have, the better opportunity you have to pull better cards. So anyways, y'all understand that method. Buy a theme builder two player, quick sell them, re-roll them for training, complete one of these 96s, sell the 96s, take everything from the 96. You're gonna need three 90 through 94s, four 87s through 89s and then you'll be able to complete the set so if we take a theme builder who sells for on average 50k we'll just say 50k even though i know he sells for a little bit more we'll just say 50k and we divide it by how much the training is you get about 12 pools right so you need seven of these players off the rip you need seven of these players now let's say you pull a bunch of 87s you could go ahead and exchange these cards for 90 through 94s you exchange all your 87s for 90 through 94s i would only put 90s in here and i would only put 87s and 88s in here anything else i would sell but let's just say you didn't have enough to complete this set take all those cards you got that you re-rolled and put them up on the auction block at that point you would either break even or you would make a small profit or you would only lose a very small profit i'm talking about like 5k and then you do it again but if you happen to pull if you happen to buy two theme builders then you have a better chance at making profit because nine times out of 10, you're going to have some good pulls. You're going to pull some 92s. You're going to pull some 94s. Hell, you might even pull an I need six, a pen. So that's really what you guys want to do. I mean, we could go through the players. Melvin Gordon, Robbie Anderson, Brian Bulaga, Jerry McCoy, Vaughn Bell, Schobert. How the hell do you say his name? <laughs> I was able to sell a Melvin Gordon for 250K when he only cost me 150K to complete. So... We made a lot of profit you see I'm, i sold them for 250k I, it was cards up for like 280 and i was like you know what let me just get this quick sale because i know he's gonna go down in value and i got back 225 when i only spent 160k on the set so you see tom brady's already 360 byron jones already 370 they're they're all gonna be around the same price but either way it goes if you guys happen if you guys want to pick this man up you can pick him up for little to nothing if you guys do the beginning method of solo challenges house rules you guys are able to pick this man up on your team for about 160k and if you quick sell the training and then you re-roll and then sell everything from the re-roll with the 87 pluses 
you might even be able to pick this man up for free if you do everything right. But like I said, this is simple, not complicated, putting cards in places. That's it. If you guys want to see that pack open and make sure I get 100 likes on this video, drop a like on the video. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Hopefully, hopefully it's the pack opening because I want to open up the packs.